Russia is planning to mass-produce a version of Iranian attack drones that President Vladimir Putin's forces could use to bombard Ukrainian cities for years to come, a report says. An independent UK-based research group, Conflict Armament Research, inspected the wreckage of two drones found in Kyiv in July that appeared to be Iranian Shahed 136s but which had electronic modules that matched those from Russian surveillance drones, the New York Times reported. The single-use drones, called Jaren 2, appear to be Russian-made versions of the Iranian drones, the researchers said. Russian forces began using Iranian-made drones to strike cities across Ukraine last year. The small, propeller-driven weapons can be packed with explosives that detonate upon impact, which is why they are often referred to as kamikaze drones. This new version will allow Russia to sustain its attack patterns and its reliance on these one-way drones, Damien Spleeders, who led the group's investigation, told The Times. So the fact that they make it domestically will allow them to continue to rely on it. A Russian engineering team has been secretly tasked with building a production line to operate around the clock building attack drones at an industrial site 500 miles east of Moscow in the Tatarstan region, the Washington Post reported. Its aim is to domestically build 6,000 drones in the next two years. The Jaren 2 drones are built with different materials to the Shahed and they also appear to have been adapted to better suit Russian needs, per the Times report. The Russian drones are made with fiberglass over layers of woven carbon fiber, which is different from the honeycomb type of material used in the Iranian drones, the Times noted. Reportedly Russia spent 1.75 billion United States dollars, erm 7.8 billion, to produce approximately 6,000 Iranian-made, Shahed 136, suicide drones in its local facility, which Moscow used to target military infrastructure in Ukraine. According to a report by Militirneri, the agreement was reached with Iran to establish a manufacturing facility for these drones within Russia over a period of 2.5 years after the agreement with Tehran. The deal between Russia and Tehran encompasses the transfer of technology, equipment, 6,000 drones, and software. The report from the compromised documents of Sahara Thunder also asserts that Russia is utilizing gold as part of the agreement with Iran. Moscow is said to be paying approximately 2 million grams of gold as part of the overall cost of the deal with Iran. Russian forces have previously employed Iranian suicide drones like Shahed-131 and Shahed-136 to target various sites in Ukraine, including buildings, public infrastructure, power plants, oil storage facilities, among others. U.S. officials have noted an improvement in the capabilities of Iranian drone systems since 2014, starting from their use by Tehran-backed Houthi militants in attacks against Saudi Aramco's oil and gas facilities to assaults on commercial ships in the Persian Gulf and now on the battlefield in Ukraine.
Previous reports indicated that Iran is assisting Russia by supplying essential equipment and components for the production of these suicide drones, enabling the rapid establishment of a Shahed drone manufacturing plant in Yelabuga, Tatarstan, located to the east of Moscow. Reports about the proposal by Russia and Iran to set up a manufacturing facility for Shahed Iranian suicide drones in the country emerged in December 2022. The United States has expressed concern, stating that this defense cooperation between Russia and Iran poses a threat to Ukraine, neighboring countries of Iran, and the international community. The U.S. authorities emphasize their commitment to using all means to expose and disrupt these defense cooperation activities, sharing the information globally. Samuel Bendet, an expert on Russian military drones at the Center for Naval Analyzes, told The Times that analysts have been waiting to see if Russia could make its own versions of the Iranian drones. We've now seen in Russian media that these are, in fact, domestic assembly, and there are changes introduced in the design based on their own needs," he said. This is indicative of Russians trying to come up with a drone that's just as capable as the original Shahed that could then be scaled up in significant quantities," he added. The ultimate goal for them is to maintain the capacity while making them more effective and actually driving down the costs," he said. After Russia began its invasion of Ukraine, Western states imposed strict sanctions to curtail Russia's access to foreign-made technology. But Russia has continued to find ways to acquire many of the military supplies it needs.